Chapter 10. Why do Chinese private companies invest outside China? So I just mentioned in chapter 9 that since 2004, we had a tremendous increase of Chinese outward FDI. And in this Chinese outward FDI, we have to distinguish two. Okay, one is the one which is done for energy and raw material, and the other one is the one which is done by mostly by private companies. So why is those Chinese private companies are investing significant amount of resources outside China? Why? I mean, one of the first reasons, one of the first rational, is that those companies, they want to give access to the Chinese market to the companies that they acquire abroad. One nice example of this is Geely. Geely is a car manufacturer, the Chinese car manufacturer. They took over Volvo. Why? Because they want to give access to Volvo to the Chinese market. So that's the first, the first rational. The so second rationale is to gain access to technology. As you know, I mean, China is not always at the top of the technology. It's making great progress in this domain, but still they have some uh, uh, major difficulties in some areas. And one way to solve this is simply to acquire a company outside China, so to gain access to the technology of this company. And one next nice example of this is the case of Sanyi. Sanyi, the Chinese caterpillar, they took over a company which name is Putzmeister, and Putzmeister, as you can guess, it's a German company, and they gain access through this acquisition to the technology of this company. Another thing you can want to gain access to is a brand image. And, you know, in some businesses, I mean, the most important key success factor is the brand image. Take the example of the food industry. I mean, the food industry obviously is driven by uh, branding, okay? Uh, and you have this company in China, Bright Food, and they would like to have more investment abroad. Why? Because they, they, they want to gain access to those brands. And what have they done? They have acquired, in the UK, they acquired Vetabix. Vetabix, which is uh, known for cereals, cereals for breakfast. So for, for bright food, it's one way to gain access immediately to a very strong brand name. So gaining access to technology, gaining access to a brand name, and you can also want to gain access to a good image, okay? And that case is interesting too in China, especially in the food industry, because the food industry is a bit complicated in China. So you have this company, Shuanghui, and Shuanghui, they took over one company in the US, which name is Smithfield, and Smithfield has a very high reputation in the quality of the meat, because they are meat producers, they produce some pork, okay? And with this reputation, that's one option, one uh, chance for uh, Shuanghui uh, to improve their image in, in, in this domain. Finally, another rationale why com private Chinese companies they, 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 they acquire companies abroad, sometimes it's simply because they want to diversify. So you have this example of a Chinese company based in Nanjing, which is very well known for the distribution. And what did they do? What did they do? They simply took over House of Fraser in UK, exactly in the same business. So it's simply market diversification. Thank you.